Hi everyone, I'm Bill and welcome to In The Library. We haven't done a Keep It Simple in over a year. So today, Keep It Simple Part 5. Four more ways to keep your writing simple. So let's start the show. Number one, short sentences. Short sentences are always better than long sentences. Keep each sentence to one idea. You want to remove unnecessary words. You want to use active voice. You want to break up long sentences. And you want to be careful with adjectives and adverbs. Number two. Remove hidden verbs. These are verbs that are turned into nouns by adding the suffixes ment, tion, or sion. For example, take a look at this sentence. There is a disagreement among students about where to eat on a field trip. The word disagreement is a hidden verb. Instead, write the students disagree about where to eat on the field trip. Hey everyone, Editor Bill here letting you know that we have some great merch. As you can see here, we also have a brand new Instagram and Patreon. You can join for as little as $3 a month for behind the scenes, early access, and other perks of the community. All the links are down in the description below. Number three. Trash the slash. Using a slash when separating alternatives when using and or can be confusing and ambiguous. Instead, eliminate the slash and just write or. Like in this sentence, the letter will go to their parent or guardian. And finally, number four. You want to be consistent in your spelling, word use, and capitalization. Without this, readers might get confused or distracted. Take a look at this. Mistakes in an email can be distracting. Make sure you proofread each email. Did you see the difference? The first email is hyphenated and capitalized. The second does not. How about this one? High blood pressure can damage your heart. Nearly half of adults have hypertension. Here, I use two different terms for the same thing. You want to be consistent. So, there you go. Four more ways to keep your writing simple. For more tips, check out this playlist right here. Thank you as always for watching, and please keep on reading.